First of all, I want to apologize for my abruptness. No, you're passionate about your position. I understand that. I'm taking this very emotionally. It's all right. I believe I do have a valid claim. All right. I'm waiting to hear where the fraud of the defendant is. Okay, now I'm going to prove things. Okay. Remove existing tile, $500. What tile? I don't see any damaged tile. Is there a picture of damaged tile? The first thing I did on that job after demo was tile the floor. Where's the fraud by the defendant? He's charging me for damaged tile, $500. He's not charging you for anything. He, no, You're he's suing he's, him for the not, money right. that the bonding he's, company right. And the bonding paid company him. took this estimate as God's honest truth to pay him the $9,700. Judge Acker? But the yeah, bonding company went to the defendant's home to inspect the work, correct? Yeah, but he's saying... Oh, wait, stop. They went to his home, correct? Yes. And in that 36-page report with respect to the tile, the new tile floor installed in the kitchen isn't level. That's bonding company finding. That's not him. No, that's his finding. The bonding company went... I'm looking at the bonding company's report. I'm saying the bonding company came and saw a hole in the tile that was not made by me. They saw a living room and a dining room that was supposed to be painted, so I didn't have a contract for that. They saw holes in the drywall because he kept changing where he wanted the electrical plugs. All these items that they saw was on him, and he lied about it. When I was not allowed to come into the house, Sir, it didn't you, have a rip in it. Can you stop, please? Will you just explain to me what happened when the bonding company came to your home? He had a copy of the contract, and he um, looked at that. He looked at payments made to Mr. Sorkin. He took photos, and he left. Does it indicate on that contract that painting the walls was within his scope of work? Yes. So let's just clarify that point right now. He seems confused. Show me where on the contract it says that, sir. So the very first page of the contract, which I believe that you um, showed me with his signature. Oh, I see. Prime and paint kitchen and new laundry room. Correct. So painting was part of the job. No, he's saying living room, dining room. Uh, That was not part of my complaint. I'm good. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. All right. We're going to excuse you both while we deliberate in this matter. I think that the hardest part for him was trying to understand what exactly the procedure was. He's trying to explain the reason for a lot of the damages and the holes and the incomplete work, but he's not getting the point that nine months later, this gentleman is still living with all of this work. And the inspection report and the estimates here discuss the cost to repair all of this. So when the defendant said the cost to repair and to complete was 12500 he's correct. So I don't see that he submitted anything fraudulent. And with regard to the actual counterclaim, he's saying that it's going to cost $10,000 to fix the damages. I don't know how you guys feel about that. I but think that's it's time barred. He brought that case four years ago. Four years ago and then dropped it because he felt sorry for him and then is revisiting it because he's mad. I think it's barred. And since it's not part of the original contract, then maybe, in fact, it would be time barred. What do you think? I'll go along with that. I think it puts the plaintiff in a difficult position to respond to the allegations of faulty work. And, and I don't think he showed any real evidence that linked the plaintiff to the additional damages. So we're going to dismiss both. I do Definitely. think that he, he may have had a cause of action against the bonding company. I agree. He may have. Th- yeah, but I don't think he's saying that the bonding company's wrong. I think he's saying that the bonding company based their decision, which may or may not be wrong, on false information provided yeah. by the defendant. But, and all I'm saying is he could have done that in the same action. Right. I, I think On the one that, hand, say fraud, and on the other hand, say in any event, you Oh, I see what them. you're saying. The bonding company had a duty to diligently investigate. Yes. And what is simply, if they just take the defendant's word for it, that's not negligent. diligence. I think that would have been a better course for this plaintiff. Yeah, I mean, I'm comfortable with dismissing both. So-